Okay, Rocky and I are back out in my shop today, and I'm once again working on uh, my portable sawmill project. I thought I would just uh, fire up the camera here and just give you a quick update of uh, some of the progress I've made uh, this weekend. Uh, I want to show you how I plan on mounting this. You can see just, I think, in the frame here, uh, this is the upright post of my, uh, what I'm calling my gantry frame. And you can see I've taken two two befores and cut them down three inches wide and then made a three by three post here. Uh, so what I, what I had to figure out what I was going to do is to put, or how I was going to uh, fasten this, uh, this big C frame in a way where it can still slide up and down these posts easily. And this is what I've come up with and uh, I'll show you how that works. What I did is I ran all these parts on my CNC router. Uh, this is uh, actually a back piece, and you can see I've got like 10 holes. So each one of these will get uh, screwed onto here uh, after this is glued up. And I've got some side pieces here that just fit in these little uh, dados that I cut. And then I've also got a top piece. And so this will all, oops, get this one upside down. There. So these will all form a nice little square and be attached here and then that will go around the post and will slide up and down. And what I came up with to make it slide easily, uh, you can, if you look, this is one I've already got glued up and maybe you can see these and I'll show you on this piece. What I did is, while I had this on my CNC router, I used, uh, you know, I used it to cut a 5 16 deep pocket right here and you can see there's two places on all four sides of these and what I did is I'm taking uh, or actually what I tried to do is I made the inside of this so when it's all glued up it's like three and an eighth and this is three inches three by three so that gives me an eighth inch worth of play so what I did then is I cut these five sixteenths deep and I've got these little blocks which are the uh, high density polyethylene and that they're not the textured they're the smooth and that is just slick as all get out right there so I cut these so that they'll fit in there and notice that when you push them in there they only stick out a sixteenth so you figure a sixteenth on all four sides that should take up the eighth inch of play and these things will ride up along this uh, three by three post with only the friction being at these these points here and then of course it's made where I can you know should these wear out I can pull these out cut some more and uh, just pop them in there and I just cut these little squares and I took them over to my uh, my bench sounder and kind of roughly rounded the corners and I tried to leave them where they where they kind of you know will fit in there and they'll, they'll really stay in there so I don't have to worry about them falling out as I'm putting this in uh, but anyway that's uh, that's how the uh, slide part is going to work on there. And now let me show you what I did as far as the, uh, the caster. Okay, what I did with my, uh, to make my uh, casters to uh, roll this, this frame around, uh, I just cut these parts again. I used my CNC router. Uh, I'll hold this up where you can maybe get a close look. I just used it to make a little uh, mortise and tenon type joint there. Glued them up and they are super strong. Uh, I've got my holes here already pre-drilled where I'm going to screw this into the bottom there. And what I'm going to be using, I'll show you here, I've already got one kind of assembled, is I've got these uh, really nice uh, inline skate wheels that I got from uh, a pair of skates from a Goodwill store. And I got eight of them, so I'm going to go ahead and use two, uh, two on each uh, corner. And I think this thing is going to roll really nice once I get the, uh, the buck and the, the frame made. So uh, I'm going to take this back apart now. And as you can see, I, from, I don't know, you may not be able to see it in this shot. I did put a coat of the spar varnish on the, the gantry frame. I've just got one coat on there. And I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, put a second coat on it because I've got two coats on the, uh, the C-frame part here. And, of course, I've got to... Uh, got a, put some spark varnish on these as well so once I put that on there you know it takes about six hours for it to dry and then it's still even a little sticky so uh, I usually wait about 24 hours before I even try to fool with it again so that's what I'm going to do next I'm going to put some more spark varnish on there so I just wanted to shoot a quick video 
uh, to get everybody back up to up to date on where I'm at with this thing. And if you got any comments or uh, questions, please uh, feel free to leave those for me. Uh, I appreciate all the new subscribers uh, that I've been getting here recently. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, please do. Uh, you'll not only get to see the completion of this uh, horrible sawmill, but you can check out all my other videos. I've got uh, all kinds of little different projects on there and, and still plenty more to come. So anyway, thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.